Hi, my name is Moritz Staffel and I'm the CEO of the company Deersoft that has been created Braceworks. I show you today a little bit about the structural calculation and the needed safety factors for this. When people start using our products, normally that is one of the first questions for what these factors are for. So let's have a look. I have drawn two trust lines in here. The one on the left is a Eurocode FD33, and the truss on the right is a Tyler 12 by 12 AV truss. You see that for all the trusses, I turned on the workload display. So in general, we need to check two things here. One is that the hoists are not overloaded. For this, we're calculating the hoist using the usability load combination. By default, all the safety factors are here set to 1.0. And you also want to show the dynamic effects, you can change the factor, load factor for all loads to the desired value. In the past years, the factor 1.2 has become commonly used. Calculating the workload for trusses is a little bit more complicated because of the different standards for the European Union and the US. When you have, but when you have sorted this out, that actually becomes actually quite easy. When you are calculating the workload, for European trusts like Eurotrust, ProLight, or 6082, you need to use the load case Eurocode Ultimate Failure. This has specific load factors set for payload and dead load. Payload, so our light, speakers, deco elements, and these things need to be multiplied with the factor 1.5, while all dead load, so the weight of the truss and the motors, need to be multiplied by 1.35. You really need to use these values. Otherwise, you get wrong results for your calculation. In Braceworks, you need to change this by hand, but in our new production system, this is automatically done. When calculating US trusses like Tyler that are rated by ANSI, you need to use the usability load scales also for them. But there's one special check that needs to be run for the US trusses. They are normally limited by deflection as well as by their workload. So in production assist on the right, you see the dark blue line the deflection, and the light blue line, the deflection limit. Production assist checks that all the US trusses stay also in their limit regarding their deflection. As Braceworks cannot calculate the US truss currently, there is no setting for this. <laughs>